Alright, so now I'm going to point out why we can't do this room just yet. Well, we may be able to hook shots out of underwater. Damn it. Well, we may be able to hook shot out of the underwater. Our hook shot is not long enough to get across there. In fact, that is the main problem with this dungeon is the length of your hook shot. How is this problem fixed? Well, you gotta push that block down there. So we need to actually raise the water level back up and then drop it all the way back down. Yes, I know, I'm taking the most complicated way through this as possible. For that I say, oh damn well. Come on. Keep your ass down. I hear you up there. There you are. Fuck you. Now, another thing about these water spouts, make sure you're on the exact middle of it, because you can tend to just get pushed off if you aren't. Alright, so let's actually do what we need to do. I actually did want to get that key now, however, viewers. It would have been a little bit quicker if I had just pushed the block when I had the chance. But that's not the way I do this dungeon. And for the time being, let's just go on and open up this door. Where if we can do absolutely nothing yet. Because our hook shot is not up to snuff. Which I don't think it is. Pop on down. And maybe it can hook on to that bottom one down there once it's all the way at the bottom. But beyond that, I don't think it's long enough to hook on to the next one, or the next one, or the next one after that. We'll find out. I tend to forget this area pretty easily. While I like it, it is one of the more forgettable Zelda dungeons. Apparently I am wrong, and you can. Now, if you're playing Master Quest, you actually need another key, if I remember right, to get all the way through this place. Ah, you need another key anyways. God, I suck at this. Come back down, yay. Going at my game for having lag. Nah. Okay, let's go actually do what he needs to do. I was hoping to be able to avoid that for now, but nope, 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 nobody, nope, nope, nope. The game says yet. The game says, fuck you, viewers. Ha ha ha. You will do what I command. And if you don't, then I will force you to backtrack. 
<laughs> that is the one thing that I can sort of understand about this dungeon and why people don't generally like it is the backtracking. If you miss something, you gotta raise and lower the water level. Uh, if, if you miss something on the on the first floor, basement, whatever, you gotta raise it up, then lower it because of the uh, water being in the mid level. And I'll admit it, viewers, I totally forgot about the uh, other area that you could go with the water level down. I did. I'm not gonna deny this simple. <sighs> Don't need you. You, however, need you. So this is a flexible block. I've got an asshole coming up right behind me. So glad I figured out how to get the sound to play on my game. Otherwise, doing ah, uh, doing certain. Uh, I have had so many problems with not being able to hear the sound in certain last plays, like Majora's Mask, when you go to do the Golden Skull Tella house. I have had a huge ass problem with being able to do that without the sound, because as any Skull Tella hunter knows, I missed my jump. Anyways, as a, any skull tele, any proper skull tele hunter knows, the, the easiest way to track them down is to just listen for the fucking sound. Which, without speakers, that's a little bit difficult to do. And you just want to sit right about here, viewers, because we need to get into there, but as you can see, there's a bit of a water current that'll whip you around. So instead, you want to stand right about where I am, and use the very inaccurate Anyways, use the very inaccurate controls. Oh, come on. There. Do you want to use the very inaccurate controls to hit that switch or crystal or whatever? And then hook shot up on a cross. <sighs> And there's our motherfucking gate. Yeah. We're gonna need our boots. Thank you, camera angles. You're making me think I was going the right way. I am so glad you are my father. Yes, viewers, camera angles are my father. That's just the way it goes. Anyways, we got the one key that I missed. Let's go to the freaking. Oh, when I want you to lock onto something, you don't. What the fuck is wrong with you, Navi? Anyways, we go back across. 
I like doing this, jumping up and then putting on the boots, and watching you just suddenly descend. Right, forgot you need the boots on, but you got a hook shot out of this motherfucking place. Unless the water level was a little bit higher, but it's not. Alright. Oh. Let's actually get the fuck moving. It's already been 26 minutes. What was that? Get in the door. Stop being a cock knocker and get in that door. Get in my belly. Bitch. Oh, good boy, you actually... Because that is totally an ocarina. Did not press D there, viewers. It actually did it on its own. My controller is kind of old. I need to get a new one, but I just haven't had the chance to do it since... Well, GameStop doesn't really sell GameCube paraphernalia anymore. annoy me about this area is the fact that I do tend to get turned around quite a bit. You can actually get these tektites stuck underwater. I find that kind of funny. Surprised. And I wasn't close enough to that, was I? Not in the least. Take a brief office break. Right after I kill that asshole. Alright, so let's actually go to this mini boss. actually make the jump, just kind of a roll jump between this and the platforms that are moving down. However, I'm not really that good. Thank you. No. No. Damn it. Too late. 
Not too late on that one, bitch. Haha. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna actually want to set up with Din's fire and the Megaton hammer. We'll see why in a minute, viewers. We are just about at the boss. I say no. I just told your Fuck off! God damn it! Leave me alone! Thank you, Nobby, for locking onto him when I wanted you to lock onto him. Pull out my sword thinking I accidentally had my fucking bow and arrow out. Nobby, you're a bitch. You are the bitchiest bitch to ever bitch around bitch dumb. And you're almost as bad as those cock blocking bimbos at a sorority house. Kyle's mom. And whoever gets that quote, that's no good for you. Same switch over and over room by the room. Take out that tech tight, not tech tight, like like, before hook shotting over, because it always grabs me before I do, or before I can do anything while, basically while I'm dropping. Oh, good, I had a creep Not so good. <laughs> 